That felt good. <laughs> I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. You know what to do. <laughs> Just a quick note, guys, on gear testing. Now, as an outfitter, we're always testing gear, whether it's chokes or guns or ammo or decoys or hoodies. We always implement testing in very small doses. I want to be able to control a negative effect. Some of the hunters were using the fully feathered juvie hoodies that we have, and then I was using the brace double pants with the emblazoned decoy on them, and all the hunters had the same thing going, so did Mel. So for example, if I put this hoodie on and it's the only one on and the birds are flaring, I know that's a problem. I've been wearing Snow's decoy wear hoodie all week. I haven't even washed it. That's why there's so much blood on it. The hunters wouldn't let me. They didn't want me to change up the mojo. I'm gonna put on prey stubble with the Snow Goose Juvie decoy on it. Uh, I've tested a little bit. It should look absolutely perfectly here. So I'll go uh, one more flight like this and then I'm gonna switch it up. See what happens. That's how we test stuff here. That's what I'm talking about right there. Look at that. Look at that, totally, totally disappears. If I go into a hunt ill-prepared and I just think, I'm gonna test all my hunters with these hoodies and it goes sideways, there's no way for me to recover that. So we implement things in very small doses. In the case of this prairie stubble hoodie, what I did is I wore it all alone, I tested it, we had confidence that it was working fine, it was a very hot day, so I ended up stripping it off. I should have just swapped it out. It was just, there was too much action, and I just wanted to get the heat off my back, so to speak. That felt good. <laughs> Those are kind of on the end of my barrel. Back to the product testing. We'll check it, this up. Look at how the camel just absolutely disappears. That's the sleeve of the prey stubble decoy wear. I'm gonna put the hoodie on right now. Since this filming, I've tested this quite a bit. It looks fantastic. I know it works. I'm confident now that I can go out in the spring and implement a product like this without any issues whatsoever. Oh, we got more birds. Nice shot. Hell of a shot. They're trying to land on my sweater. They're trying to land on my sweater. I'm a decoy. Look at this thing. And guess who designed the artwork? I bet you didn't know yet I had it in me. Ha! Ah. This is my COVID project. I learned how to use Adobe Illustrator. I put every piece of stubble on this camo pattern individually and laid it on top of a dirt background. And then I put a decoy on there. You guys want to wear one of these hoodies so they try land on you too? So why does this prey stubble hoodie with a snow goose emblazoned on it work so well? Over the last seven to 10 years, it seems like white suits has been the primary go-to outfit for most hunters. And the white suits do work. I do know though, that sometimes the birds are pushing off something, I feel it's the white suits. And I'm very confident that when you have a camouflage system with a little bit of deception built into it, and it's different than what the birds are used to seeing every day, it's gonna work. Right. Good call, Jay. I had one lined up, you pulled me off him. <laughs> ready, ready, ready. Okay, kill him. Oh. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. He cleaned him up there. Wow. Got them all. I had the prey stubble hoodie on. And uh, a couple of the flights did it just right, but it's so hot out, I was just sweating, so I tore it off. I just, it's hot. It was like 31 degrees Celsius here today. Worked great though. Three or four flights did it, we're good.
It's 713 and it's 26 degrees Celsius right now. Hot. Jay! Get in, get in! They're coming. That was epic, dude. Unbelievable. That was good, eh? that was